Listen to this, man. Calf. Come on. The energy. Priest hit it. Go home. Go. Come on. Come on. The priest hit it. Go home. Go. Come on. The energy. Priest hit it. Go home. Go. Come on. The freaking head is smoking. The priest hit it. Go home. Go. Come on. Beat us. Priest hit it. Go home. Go. Come on. I'm still smoking, homie. The priest hit it. Go home. Go. Come on. The beat us. Priest hit it. Go home. Go. Come on. I'm still smoking, man. The priest hit it. Go home. What up, what up, man? It's Garage Gym, homie, baby. And today, today, man, I'm reviewing Bucked Up Banff Black. Is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button, man. Why? Because I got content coming out all the day time for you, son. So click subscribe and let's get into this, man. God bless all of you, man. God is amazing. God gets the credit, man. See, if we ain't talking God, man, what the heck are we doing, man? What are we really doing if we're not talking God? See, when I'm not talking God, I'm taking credit for a bunch of stuff that I didn't do, man. People come to me and say, man, that is amazing what you did, man, getting sober. That is incredible what you did, you, you, you. I said, it wasn't me. They don't, they don't get it, man. Most, most earth people, I call them, they, they just can't wrap their head around it, man. I didn't do anything, man. God did for me what I couldn't do for myself. God bless all of you, man. So if we ain't talking God, man, if you ain't feeling it, something's missing, man. Let's get down to business. Quit monkeying around. You could hit me in the email, garagegymhomie at gmail.com or my website, man, garagegymhomie.com. If you're a suffering addict or alcoholic, I'd be honored, man, to work with you, take you through the 12 steps so you could become a serious iron pumper, man. A bamf. <laughs> Never look back, man. And um, I also offer uh, apparel. I'm adding more apparel on there, you know, hoodies, goodies, uh, joggers, all sorts of apparel. And I got coaching services, man. Me and the team, we, uh, we do coaching, weekly check-ins, meal plans, workout plans, uh, contests, all sorts of stuff, man. Check out the site. And uh, it's just there if you want it, man. God bless you. Bucked up, man. You know what? I used to hate on this company um, because I tried their bucked up pre-workout. I didn't like it, man. That was not my cup of tea. It just felt kind of felt kind of soft, homie. Didn't even feel like a daily to me, man. And this was before I even started reviewing. Um, and then also, so there's only two things I've tried that I didn't like by them. Um, their natural protein just tasted nasty to me, but. Uh, the label's sick. Now, as far as things I did like by them, their uh, pump ocalypse, pump cocalypse, <laughs> pump ocalypse, that boy is a hitter right there. Really nice stackable pump formula. Their woke AF, really nice daily hitter, high end daily, nice freaking, comes together nicely. Uh, I, it would have been easy to hate on. That was a nice pre workout. And then also, their. Uh, Mother Bucker is a freaking hitter, like stim junk, actual stim junkie hitter, man. Like that boy is a hitter, hitter, like really memorable pre-workout. So this is Banff, man. Is this stand for that bad, bad, I almost said, bad, oh, oh, I can't even say the words, man. You know, I, bad, and eh, mother, uh, uh, or does it stand for, Bill Nye, Anderson Cooper, Michael Moore, Fauci. I think it stands for Bill Nye, Anderson Cooper, Michael Moore, Fauci, man. Really nice. Black. I, so I didn't look at the difference between Banff and Banff Black. I think they're different. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about the facts, man. This was a uh, welcome to Miami flavor. As good as flavors get, homie. One thing about Bucked Up, as good as flavors get, homie. You know, I'm going to give it to you straight, man. I ain't here shining no Bucked Up schlong, man. I'm going to give you the pros and the cons, man. They're talking facts. God bless them, man. Ain't none of that one scoop, two scoop, redfish, bluefish, Dr. Seuss, mumbo jumbo. So far, we're off to a good start, man. This has a real nice top, nice container. Look at that. That deer hitter, deer antler hitter. Um... Now, I just want to say something, man. One scoop is 12.2 Bill Nye Anderson Cooper Michael Moore Fauci. Very innovative. Uh, 
One, one scoop is 12.2 grams. I just want to say, man, this is more directed to bucked up. You guys got to tighten up, homie. A level scoop on the scale was eight grams. Eight grams, man. So most, this is a super mass-produced pre-workout. Most people are going to buy this. They're not pulling out a dang kitchen scale, man. So they're going to take eight grams, and they're probably going to hate on this, man, and said it's weak. Now, it might be weak at the 12.2 gram. I'm about to give it to you straight. But you're really doing yourself a disservice by giving everybody an eight-gram scoop, man. So I would hit up your manufacturer and spank them. Spank them, homie, because they're, they're screwing over the peoples. All right, man, this is what they're giving us. So you got to do a big fat heaper or you, use your scale, man. Citrulline malic, two to one ratio, six grams. So you get four grams of citrulline, two grams of malic acid. That's for the pumps. Um, I know there's other benefits to malic acid. Beta alanine, 3.2 grams. That's for the warm, fuzzy hug, the tingles, the revved up feeling, the endurance, the lactic acid buffering. Also, man, there's a scientific uh, fact. A lot of these podcasters aren't going to tell you that you only hear to hear you got to feel the betas to be an alpha, homie. You just got to feel the betas to be an alpha. All right, man. Then you got caffeine and hydrous, 333 milligrams, man. That's a nice amount, man. That's a stimulant. That's going to stimulate. Uh, then you got alpha size, alpha GPC, 200 milligrams. So that's uh, a trademark name for the focus hitter. That gets you focused and dialed in, thinking about the weights, forgetting about your Tinder dates, man. And... Um, we like to see 600 milligrams. Again, man, we're going to talk about it. Taurine, 100 milligrams. Himalayan rock salt, uh, 100 milligrams. So some hydration, some uh, pumps, some whatever, man. There's a lot of benefits there. Uh, N-acetyl L-tyrosine, 100 milligrams. Dynamine, man, some energy, 60 milligrams. The deer... <laughs> Excuse me, Buck. I don't mean to laugh here. Deer antler of uh, velvet powder, 50 milligrams. Now that is for, we're going to find out. Man. You're going to find out, man. I want you to do some research on that one. Get back to me. And uh, humic fulvic mineral blend extract, 40 milligrams. I don't know what that's for. Estrogen, two kinds of estrogen, 25 milligrams each. And Hooperzine A, man, 50 micrograms. Another thing that gets you focused and dialed and thinking about the way. This is what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to say about this, man. I took the drink, man. That welcome to Miami was no punk, man. That was a, you know, I mixed it up in this bottle right here. That boy freaking, that boy freaking was still sweet, man. That little 12 gram scoop in this. So look, man, this is what I'm going to say. Surprisingly, this was about 20% better to me than Woke AF. And I gave Woke AF a good review, man. I said Woke AF was a very um, solid freaking daily driver, nice pre-workout. This had the same to me or a little bit more physical energy as that, plus a better mental focus, man. So, so let's go through the experience, man. I took the drink, I came down, the freaking betas came in about 10 minutes after, came and went in like five minutes, but hold on, man. I'm telling you, these were some creeper betas, homie. These were my, these came back like, like, like 30 minutes later, I, I was like itching my freaking face off, like a serious beta alanine experience. So whatever Bucked Up uses in their woke app and this, both had real serious beta tingles, man. You will not be lacking. You will be an alpha, homie. So look, the energy came in nicely. There was a uh, very apparent energy feeling that came in like, like 10, 15 minutes after ingesting it. You feel very awake, very alert. This is a, a very nice daily hitter. You can stack some pumps on top of it, some non-beta alanine pump. The betas are strong. Don't be stacking more beta alanine pumps. Non-beta al pumps that don't have beta, you could stack whatever the heck you want on top. A scoop of blood sport, their pump apocalypse, the freaking obedient, whatever the heck you want. Stack, you can stack on top. 
The pumps without it weren't that noticeable. There might be some added vascularity, but it's not crazy pumps, man. This is a nice, versatile, like, stim-focused blend that delivers, man. I'm telling you, like, dude, the people, some of these mass-produced companies, man, like Rise, Bucked Up, someone knows what they're doing, man. Redcon 1, they don't really know what they're doing. That Black Ops was a hitter. Their Total War is trash. Like, their big noise is trash. Excuse me. Some, like, you might see 200 milligrams of Alpha G. Oh, it's all under. Da, da, da. I'm telling you, the boy is freaking nice, man. Like, this is a solid, solid daily driver. And the cool thing about this, it's like consistent, man. This is a consistent pre workout. How many servings do you get in here? And you get a full 30 servings in a container. So I can't, it would be real easy to hate on this. This is nothing like their regular bucked up, man, which was really super uneventful. This is, um, this had a really nice endurance, focus, mental energy in a healthy sense. There's nothing, I mean, let's be honest. It's not like, a, if you're a stim junkie, homie, you're not going to take this and it's not going to be like super memorable or super eventful, but it's super consistent. The betas are nice. The energy is sufficient. It doesn't have like a super cheap feel or anything, man. And there's a very nice like mental focus, man, mental clarity, mental focus, and also a uh, noticeable sense of well-being slash mood elevation. Now, I did just come off a stim break after a week, but come on, man, a week, it ain't my tolerance ain't that low, homie. Like, it's a, it's a nice, nice pre-workout. And I like, you get 30 servings, so this is good for just an, like, dude, this is great for most of humanity, homie. Let's just be honest, man. This is a great pre-workout for most of humanity. If you're a drug addict, stim junkie looking to get high, this ain't gonna do it for you. This is not a, a stim junkie pre-workout. You're better off with their mother bucker. This is better than woke AF in the mental sense of well-being, mood elevation. This had me dancing a little bit, man, like feeling myself. I was pumping out extra reps. Uh, this had me feeling confident uh, to a point where I could tell it was from the pre-workout. had me not resting much between sets. I mean, I don't want to make it out like I was maniaco out of my mind or anything. It's just, a, it was just a nice freaking experience, man. Like a positive energy. It was just a positive energy, nice experience with good, healthy, mental endurance, mental focus. You could take this five days a week and not feel like you're burning your brain out. I don't really have anything bad to say about it, man, except that their scooper was freaking way off on this one which is pretty unacceptable considering it's super mass produced man like m most people ain't weighing their pre's uh because they trust this when they get it because it's they should trust it because you know what's in here is in here the deer antler velvet thing is probably snickle fritz you know there's probably <laughs> maybe that's what made it pop homie i don't know but uh this was a, like 20% better than Woke AF to me. I just think that it had a little bit feel good energy more in the, in the mental department, better endurance and better focus, man. That was noticeable to me. So really nice pre, and I like the 30 servings with it, man. It's like, you, you're just getting, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna have this for a minute. And, uh, and it delivers, man. It just comes together nicely. So I got, I got love for this one, man. I got love. Look, I'm not going to, in a month from now, think, man, that BAMF was a freaking, like, super hit or anything like that. But after just taking it, man, it's a positive, solid, consistent pre-workout, man. It's a nice experience. I don't think you're going to hate on it. And I'm a stim junkie, man. And I'm telling you, this boy right here, it's nice. So if you like what I had to say, man, I'll link below where to get it with a code to knock some cash off. If this ain't for you, man. If you're looking for the stim junkie experience, it ain't this. This is a really nice, consistent, solid daily. That's what I got for you, Garage Gym. So I don't think it stands for Bill Nye, Anderson Cooper, Michael Moore, Fauci. I think it stands for what it's supposed to stand for. And black. And bam, black lives matter, man. Bam, black lives matter. God bless all of you together. 
Let's get this dang muscle. I hit the dang like button, man. I'm out.